Hello everyone, this is Siddhant Rehur. This is part 8 of our series of basics of Java programming. In this part, we'll explore advanced file handling techniques, focusing on two key concepts, serialization and streams. Serialization allows us to store objects in files, while streams let us process data efficiently as it flows in and out of our programs. Let's get started. Serialization is the process of converting an object into a byte stream which can then be written to a file or sent over to a network. Deserialization is the reverse process, converting a byte stream back into an object. Serialization is a powerful tool for storing complex data structures in files as it allows us to persist objects between program executions. Let's look at a basic example of serialization. Here, we'll serialize a person object to a file and then deserialize it back to an object. In this example, we create a person object and serialize it to a file named person.ser using object output stream. This saves the object in a binary format, allowing us to restore it later through deserialization. Now let's see how we can deserialize the person object we just serialized and retrieve its data. In this example, we use object input stream to read the person object from the person.ser file. The object is then cast back to the original type and we print its attributes to the console. This demonstrates how we can persist and retrieve objects using serialization. Streams are a powerful concept in Java for processing data as it flows into and out of a program. They are used for reading and writing data in a continuous flow, often with buffers that improve performance. Streams are classified into two types, byte streams for handling binary data and character streams for handling text data. Let's look at an example of using byte streams to copy a file. This is a common task when dealing with binary data like images or videos. In this example, we use file input stream to read the binary data from an input file and file output stream to write it to an output file. The loop continues until all the data is read and written, effectively copying the file. Let's switch to character streams and see how they can be used to process text files. Character streams are ideal for reading and writing text data as they handle character encoding automatically. In this example, we use file reader to read characters from an input text file and file writer to write them to an output text file. This is useful for tasks like file conversion or text processing. That's all for part 8 of our Java series. We explored advanced file handling techniques including serialization and streams. We learned how to serialize and deserialize objects to and from files. And we explored the use of byte and character streams for processing data efficiently. In the next spot, we'll dive into more advanced concepts like multi-threading and concurrent programming in Java. See you soon everyone. Bye for now.